I'm in California for actually only the second time ever. I'm here to actually visit my client summer of going on about three years now. This is my third client visit, second one remotely where I'm going to visit my client. Um, so Summer joined my Audacious Athlete beta community, very first one that I ever launched. Phase one, she's done phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five, phase six, and done all the Built Like Lausanne programs as well. She has literally been involved in so much of my coaching business almost from the ground up. It's kind of crazy to think about honestly. I just absolutely adore her and I'm so excited to like get to spend some quality time with her on Saturday. Thursday though, tomorrow, it's Wednesday, tomorrow we have a client meetup with another additional client that lives here as well who joined my roster um, a little bit before December. I had Alex look up on my client roster who was here in the area and we found Margot and so we're going to meet up with her. Brittany's coming up from San Diego and then I've got another little special surprise so that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm not going to put it anywhere else because it's like literally just happened this week. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure of like the COVID situation when I booked and what it would be like in California. So I wanted to make sure I had a kitchen available to me just in case things were not gonna be open um, and I would need to cook a lot of my meals here. I have my Icon meals getting delivered here shortly. I was kind of hoping to wait to see because I don't remember exactly what I ordered. I need to go to the grocery store and I've finished all my client check-ins and it's kind of weird because I'm three hours ahead of schedule um, now because it's only three o'clock here. Y'all, I can tell I'm so dehydrated. I could not even hold that camera. I need to get some water. Whew. All right, like my arm was like shaking while I was holding the camera tripod up. I drank so much water in flight, but my hands were still so dry and I think it's just like drier air here than in the Midwest, but I gotta get to the grocery store stat. Cause I'm hungry and my icon meals did not get here. So I was hoping they would. That's why I was kind of waiting around, but I just sent my last client checking in. Thank goodness. I love check-in days while I'm traveling because I'm so efficient in the plane because that's literally all there is to do and I don't get interrupted by like dogs ringing bells to go outside. Um, so it's really awesome. I was so efficient in the plane or I may pop over to the ocean side just to see it and hear it. I feel like I need that for my soul so bad now. So I may do that actually. So I might bring you along for that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna hit up Ralph's. Ralph's looks to be the closest to the coast. Drop a comment below if you love a good Ralph's. I feel like I went to Ralph's recently but I just don't know where I was when I went there. Are those in Florida? No, where are they? I don't know where they are, but I was just recently in a Ralph's. Maybe there's some Alani Seltz. Maybe I'll throw down a party in my own hotel room. <laughs> On my way home from Target, I ended up doing Target instead of Ralph's because it was closer and I was like, I really just need like some shampoo and other things. So on my way home from Target, I found Lemon Shark Poke and Tap House. So I'm gonna try my poke bowl. I got this Bambucha. This Bambucha is blueberry vanilla almond. I'm super stoked about this because it's got almond extract in it and I absolutely adore almond extract. So we're gonna do a little taste. Here. Oh, that's good. It's got organic tea in it. Hope it's not caffeine tea. It probably is though. I don't know. It's really good though. This is actually probably one of the best kombuchas I've ever tried. It's so good. That almond extract in there, 
the bottom. My poke bowl looks like amazing. And I was able to get this soy sauce based, spicy soy sauce um, for dressing to put on it. So I got a salmon and tuna bowl with some edamame, some masago. This is just gonna be divine. I'm so excited. Where's my chopsticks? Can't find my one thing of chopsticks. I have no idea where it is, but I had, couldn't wait because it's so good. There's like garlic flakes on top of this. Mm -mm -mm. I got brown rice. Mm, that ginger, so good. I'm gonna have a bit of salmon, masago, all oh, these garlic crumbles, oh. and um, some cucumber salad. Mmm, so good. I probably shouldn't have ordered Icon Meals because I'm gonna want to eat here every day. This is so good. They have an Instagram handle. Lemon Shark Poke Vista. Very good, 100% recommend. So I'm gonna eat this connect to my Wi-Fi here in the hotel. And uh, I'm gonna watch some Jenny and Georgia while I eat. If you guys watch Jenny and Georgia, kind of reminds me of um, my mom and myself. All right, I'm gonna watch that eat. And uh, I actually, because I'm on Pacific Standard Time, I have some client check-ins for tomorrow already in. So thank you to those who like to send their stuff in at night because I'm actually gonna get a head start on my work day tomorrow. And I'll show you guys my Target haul. Got some almond and cashew milk, some coffee, some fruit, strawberries, blueberries, might have a couple of those, egg whites, whole eggs, some toiletries, some lettuce, turmeric shot, suja, some Milani's, bread, this tea, I'm about to brew some up right now. Spinach, mushrooms, and a half-eaten bag of carrots because I ate them in the car right on the way here. That poke bowl was bomb. It was probably 10 out of 10 for sure, for sure. Also 10 out of 10 on bambucha. Bambucha, this is delicious. It's 9.30 my time. So I can definitely tell I'm like waning. My energy is waning, so. I'm gonna wash this face. I actually think I got a little windburned or sunburned from riding in the convertible, but I'm so glad I did that. At Enterprise, they were gonna give me the Ultima because I had originally just wanted like a compact car, energy efficient car or whatever, and they didn't have one on their lot. So she was like, well, I'm gonna upgrade you, but it's not gonna be um, an eco car or whatnot. It's gonna be an Ultima, is that okay? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. I was like, but how much per day is that? convertible Mustang and she was like oh just $20 extra per day and I was like sold <laughs> the more vitamin D I can get in my body coursing through my veins from this trip the better off I will be for like months on end I feel like so crisp wet salty hair definitely from the air it definitely feels different it's definitely different from like blowing in the wind but I'm gonna wash this face and I'm gonna get in bed so I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Good morning. So it is the next day. Did not do my nails. <laughs> so definitely have to do that at some point today because the client meetup and dinner is at 5.15 at campfire. I'm so excited for this dinner. The spot looks beautiful. I had such um, a good like help from another client to like pick out a spot that was like really intimate but also outdoors so we could be nice and safe with each other. Um, but my Icon meals arrived last night at like six and I was already in my hotel room and um, eating my poke bowl and so I didn't go pick it up. So now I'm picking it up today. Um, so I think that because the way they ship them already frozen, they should be pretty fine. But I wanted to kind of walk you through like what I buy because I typically don't buy the pre-made meals because they take up too much space per meal. Um, so I get their turkey breast. I absolutely love their turkey breast. I think it's so nice and tender. I love their Kyoto vegetable blend. It's got the edamame, the broccoli, the carrots, and the red peppers. Oh, this one's so good. And I love their diced red potatoes. So that'll be a carb source for me. Um, I don't know what they do to their shrimp, but their shrimp is by far the best shrimp I've ever had to be able to reheat it. Like most of the time when you reheat shrimp, it is like sponge, gooey, or like hard and it's awful. Theirs reheats so, so well. So I got a packet of that. I got some green beans, which I'm kind of mad at myself because I brought green beans. So those will probably be getting frozen to take home as my ice pack. 
Um, I do get some of their protein pancakes. Their protein pancakes are great for an on the go like pre-workout option because they are pretty high in carb, very, very low in fat at only seven grams in fat and 20 grams of protein. So it's literally like a perfect on the go pre-workout option for me. So that'll be what I do today for my pre-workout. I'm about to have breakfast though. Um, and their sweet potatoes. So their sweet potatoes and their red potatoes are my carb sources. And then protein sources are their turkey breast, the steak, the shrimp, vegetables are the Kyoto blend and the green beans. So if you do order, I believe at $115, you are able to get free shipping, which is super helpful. Or if you're under $115, you can use my friend Lauren's code and you can get a percent off your order. I use them really regularly. Like I said, I ordered not the, not the full meals because they take up less space. And the cool thing is, is I'm able to freeze them and then they're ice packs for me when I go home, which is helpful when I have extra food left over because I always have my Fitmark bag to be able to take some extra food back home with me. All right, so I'm gonna get to work and making some breakfast. I am so excited. It's here. I'm gonna put my nails on because I haven't done that yet. And then I'm going to head over to Campfire for our client meetup. Brittany delivered some good and bad news unfortunately she is one centimeter dilated and I was truly afraid that scheduling this trip so close to her due date that it would be complicated and yet it has been um, so she is dilated and the doctor wants to put her on bed rest for now so she wasn't able to make the trek up because that would have been like maybe a 45 minute um, a 45 minute wait at the border for her in the car along with probably another hour and a half to get from the edge of, you know, Tijuana, like, you know, at the border with Tijuana and uh, get through San Diego and get up here to Carlsbad. So I'm not gonna get to see her. So it just means I've gotta come back. And this trip so far has just been absolutely amazing for me. Um, I've just been alone for the past 24 hours and I get like teared up because I've gotten to just experience so much sunshine, so much vitamin D. I feel like my cup is like starting to fill up again. I feel like my face is starting to clear already. Um, I had a great workout at EOS Fitness or EOS. I don't know what people around here call it. Um, I had a great workout. Um, it's just so much windows, so much open air. They have all these outdoor spaces to train in as well, obviously, because the climate year round here is so mild. Um, so it's just amazing. I can totally see why people live here and are absolutely worth it absolutely is worth spending the money to live out here i can see why people do it we're going to dinner i'm going to put on my nails i'll show you guys this cute little outfit i've worn it before multiple times so this is loose linen short suit i've got some cute little mules and there's no there's no full length mirror in this hotel i'm actually kind of pissed actually this is the linen blazer i feel like the blazer trend the blazer and short trend is going to be how i go about my spring and summer whereas like fall and winter i was in the cargo pants and bodysuit and it's just going to be blazers and tanks for me there we go hello hello so you guys can oh man little pantsuit and blazer so this is from Vici, so it's not available any longer. Sorry guys, this is just a cute little ribbed crop sweater from Free People. And like I said, I'm in a convertible, so your girl had to put her hair up. But at dinner, I'll just be able to take it down. I put a lot of hairspray in these curls. So lots of hairspray and lots of curls. Lots of hairspray went into this and my hair is super dirty, so it's just really sticky and it's great. <laughs> Heading off to dinner after I put on some nails from Static Nails, because my nails look like poop. I'm done with my check-in, so all I have to do is payroll when I get back, because it's the 15th, and I sent off all my taxes already, so here's your reminder, do your taxes on time, or don't do them on time, because you're gonna see this way after taxes are due, so I don't know, hopefully you got an extension. All right, see you guys at the restaurant.
Good morning from my last day here in sunny California, in Carlsbad, California. Today is the day that I am driving a little bit further east to go visit Summer and her family. So excited to meet her husband and her little son and her little dog and just get to, I think we're gonna like maybe do a little like small hike around her neighborhood. I know she has a hot tub, so we're gonna chill. She's gonna cook me some food and I think she's making me some Korean bread. I think I requested it and I think she said it was macro friendly. So I'm looking forward to maybe sharing that with you guys. Sorry I haven't really had much footage from this trip because I've just been chilling and enjoying this trip by myself. Um, for the most part, I have been by myself. Um, I have trained in a couple gyms and honestly, like the gyms were a little bit too crowded. So I really didn't have the opportunity to film. I also feel a little bit weird filming in gyms I'm new with. I went to Crunch Fitness today and there was a little bit more space to film, but I I was kind of in a hurry because I got to get ready for summer. So I'm going to head in, I guess, inland a little bit more and go hang out with her, share with you guys some of that bread, and then we'll come back, close out this vlog, give you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way traveling by myself and just what I've enjoyed about this trip so far. Amazing. Is that like a a black like a blueberry? So I use a purple sweet potato. <gasps> I just put the plastic on the rice because I don't want to dry. That's so cool. Let's see if I can actually get in the frame. What's up you guys? I just got back from chilling with Summer and her family. And it was so good. We had hand rolled sushi rolls. She had all the seaweed paper out for us. They got this Hawaiian style poke um, from down in San Diego. Uh, so her husband went and got that and they knew that I was, you know, obviously a big sushi fan. Um, so she made that for me. And then of course the sweet potato buns. Oh my gosh, so good. She gave me, I've got two to take home, one for uh, Jared and I to share tomorrow for dinner. Um, so this trip was awesome. I've absolutely loved the Carlsbad Encinitas. I wanted to just talk a little bit about, you know, some safety things about traveling alone. Um, so typically I don't post a whole lot when I'm out traveling, um, you know, because I don't want, you know, my location or anything necessarily being seen when I'm there um, physically. So I also just in general stay off my phone a lot while I'm traveling so I can pay more attention to my surroundings. Um, I'm more, you know, aware that I am by myself. Um, so I just don't pull out my phone nearly as often um, and I don't have like the desire to like I said I want to see I want to get a feeling for my surroundings as well like um, not having to look down at my phone um, for walking like I might like pull up the app um, and essentially like pre map it in my head and say the the street names in my head and then put my phone away again so just I'm able to look up more rather than look down. Um, and it's just like I said, for safety, I've got my hands free. I'm visually more aware of my surroundings and it gives me the like more confidence in, in walking around, essentially getting my bearings for actually like the directions. And it's always so much easier to travel on the coast because when you travel on the coast, the coast becomes your point of reference. And I can always like find my car or whatnot if I use the coast as my point of reference. So that would be my other thing is, you know, when I parked last night, cause I did go down to like the beachy area of town by myself. When I parked, I took a photo of the cross street. So when I was there, I was able to have a photo of the cross street of where I parked. So if I needed to remember where I parked after being a pedestrian for a little bit downtown, I was able to have this photo to reference and then reference that to get back to the GPS for, you know, walking back towards my car. But again, I parked close to the coast so I could use that as my point of reference. So there's just some quick tips, tricks for traveling by yourself, but I highly, highly recommend um, getting comfortable with that if you don't already do it. And I find myself that I had gotten out of traveling 
um, with myself because I used to do a lot of traveling by myself because um, Jared's job was far more busier. I was competing by myself and I didn't have as you know a larger friend group that competed. So I didn't necessarily have somebody I was going with all the time. I was normally traveling by myself a lot more. Um, so this was just really enriching. My cup feels so full. My soul is so happy and I'm so glad I came. So thank you guys for enjoying this little, little travel vlog. Sorry, there wasn't enough footage. Uh, I always feel like my travel vlogs don't have enough um, because again, it was just a matter of spending time with my clients, not necessarily having a device uh, or a camera with me at all times. Um, so thank you guys for watching this vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. For my mama, when I finally make it Take on my vacations to Bahamas Always celebrating Ever since my birthday was the bomb And now I'm detonating